Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Rachel, how are we? Welcome to my February reset vlog. Number one, I just wanted to start off the video by saying I think that this video is going to come out a little bit later than a reset vlog normally would and that is because House of Flame and Shadow has taken over my life the last week. I have not filmed anything except for that reading vlog so I am a little bit late to the game on this video so apologies on that but I have finished House of Flame and Shadow. It was stunning. But now that I finished that book, I'm ready to move on with my life. I mean, I don't know if I ever truly will move on from my life after reading that, but it's a new month. I wanna set a new TBR. I want to look ahead at some anticipated releases. I'm really excited for today's video to kind of go over everything and what my plans are for February. So in today's video, I would like to accomplish three things. Number one, as I said, anticipated releases. February is a stacked month for anticipated releases for me. I have quite a few books that I'm looking forward to. I have quite a few books that I've already pre-ordered. So I wanna talk about those first. And then after that, I do wanna set up my February TBR. I'm feeling delusionally ambitious this month. I really am like, there's so many books that I want to read and they're all like over 500 pages so I don't know how that's gonna work out but I'm feeling excited I'm feeling really good about this month and there's just a lot of books that I'm really looking forward to so we will try to create some type of achievable February TBR today and then at the end I did want to do a little birthday book haul so my birthday was a couple days ago and I bought some books for myself and then my lovely friends did send me some books so I just want to show all of those I thought that would be fun to do today so keeping it pretty simple pretty short and sweet but I'm very excited let's first off get into my most anticipated releases of this month and if I think I'm gonna read them in February. All right, so the first book which comes out on February 6th is Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I'm so excited for this. This is a paranormal romance between a werewolf and a vampire and I feel like Allie Hazelwood is going to do a really fantastic job with this. I feel like her writing style would be very well suited for like a very cute and fun paranormal romance. I believe it is the first non-contemporary romance that she has published. I think I am gonna vlog this one because I'm very excited about it. Next up we have An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson that is coming out February 13th. I am so hyped for this. I love A Dowry of Blood. That is one of my all-time favorite books. I think it is beautiful and S.T. Gibson's writing is just top-notch. I'm like 99% sure that An Education in Malice is connected to A Dowry of Blood in some way. Not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure and that gets me very excited. All right, and then we also have the next Magnolia Parks book, Into the Dark, coming out in February. I forget the date, but I have pre-ordered the UK edition from Blackwell's. I don't know if that's going to come in February, if I'm going to be able to pick it up right away when it comes out this month, but I will definitely pick it up in the next like month or two. I'm really looking forward to that. It is the conclusion of Magnolia and BJ's story. And I'll be very curious to see how things get wrapped up for them. Next up on February 27th, we have a double header. So number one, A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. I cannot wait for this. I have really, really high hopes for this book. This is a Norse mythology inspired fantasy romance. And I recently read the Traitor Queen, which is the second book in the Bridge Kingdom series. I read the Bridge Kingdom a few years ago and I was like, eh, it was okay, but I'm not going to continue on with the series. But then I decided to continue on with it this year and see what I thought. And I loved that book so much. The Traitor Queen was amazing. I am going to continue on with that series and pick up The Inadequate Air soon. But just because of my kind of renewed love and interest in Danielle L. Jensen's writing, I am particularly really excited for A Fate Inked in Blood. It does come out at the end of the month. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it on my February TBR, but it's definitely like on my mind. I want to pick it up as soon as I get it. And then another super anticipated release for me is Lore of the Wilds by Anna Lee Sobrana. So this is a YA fantasy and I'm going to guess that there is a romance subplot because this cover is just giving me love triangle vibes. I think this cover is absolutely stunning. It really reminds me of the aesthetic of the Spiderwick Chronicles, like very much forest, fairy, kind of wicked fae, cruel prince-ish vibes. You guys get what I mean? I just really, really love the aesthetic of this cover. I think it's stunning and I love a YA fantasy fantasy with a love triangle. I mean, that's classic. So I'm super excited about this as well. Also comes out at the end of the month, but I do want to try to pick this one up. I think it's going to be a little bit shorter than A Fate Inked in Blood. So I think I have a better chance of getting this book read in February. Okay, I think those are all of the February releases that I am looking forward to. I'm sure I missed one, but I'm really, really excited about all of those. Alrighty friends, I think I have my February TBR set up. I'm gonna do a combination of books I already own and then anticipated releases that are coming out this month. I think I can get all these read 
potentially, potentially not as well, but let's go through them. So number one, two books that are coming out this month that I definitely want to read. Bride for sure. Bride by Allie Hazelwood. That is arriving on Tuesday and I think I'm going to pick that up right away. So the first book on my February TBR is Bride. As I said, paranormal romance, werewolf, vampire. I think that's going to be super fun. I also want to put Lore of the Wilds on my TBR as well. I haven't read a YA fantasy in a while and I just really, really love this cover. So I am going to put this on my February TBR as well. So that is two. Next up, I really want to read The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. My friend Nadia got me super hyped for this book. She absolutely loved it. I know it's like enemies to lovers fantasy romance and I believe she is sent to kill the person that she ends up falling in love with. So I think that's going to be very fun. I've heard a lot of great things about this book. I've thought about buying it like so many times and then I did end up getting this gifted for my birthday. So I am very excited about this and hopeful that I love it. Next up is going to be When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. I have seen this book absolutely everywhere and I've seen very mixed things. So I want to give it a shot. I honestly have no idea what this book is about and I'm going to keep it that way. It's an adult fantasy romance and the cover is stunning. There are dragons on the cover. We're going to see what happens, but I'm very curious to see where I'm going to fall because I've seen absolutely glowing reviews and I've seen people not really liking it as much, but I have been very curious about this ever since the author announced it. I have read one other book by them, which is To Bleed a Crystal Bloom and that was fine. It was like a three star, but I am curious to try something else by this author. The next book on my February TBR is going to be The North Queen. I'm so, so excited about this book. It's Enemies to Lovers fantasy romance. Once again, that's all I know and that's all I want to know. I really, really love this cover. I think it's absolutely stunning. I have a lot of hope. I have a lot of like good vibes for this book. So I really hope that I enjoy this. Another book that I want to read in February is Glow of the Everflame by Penn Cole. So this is the sequel to Spark of the Everflame, which is the first book in the Kindred's Curse saga. I read that book in January and I loved it. It was a four star strong start to the series. And I have been thinking about this book. I really want to pick it up. Probably going to be one of the first books that I read in February. And I really hope that the sequel is as good, if not better than the first one. All right. And then the next book is Flame and Sparrow by S.M. Gaither. S.M. Gaither wrote the Shadows and Crown series, the first book being The Song of the Marked. I did really love the beginning of that series, but I ended up DNFing the series after a few books because I really lost interest. But I want to give this author another shot. So I'm going to do that in February with Flame and Sparrow. This is a brand new adult fantasy romance duology by this author, and I'm excited for it. All right. And then the next book that I will be reading in February is Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I did not expect myself to purchase this book, be holding this book in a video, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of like a challenge reading vlog in February that I'm very excited about. And this book just called to me when I thought of this video idea. So I will be reading this book. I have not read a JLA book in a very long time. Her very popular series from Blood and Ash, I just did not like and I DNF'd after the second book. So I'll be curious to see what I think of this, but I'm going in very optimistic, very willing to like this and enjoy this. And I really hope that I do. The next book on my February TBR is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. This is a book that has been on my radar for a while and it's actually in the mail right now. I think I'm supposed to receive it tomorrow. So I'm gonna film the book haul tomorrow and I'll include that if it does come in time but this is a fantasy romance and it just sounds like a lot of fun. My friends Tori and Capri both really, really enjoyed this book and I trust their fantasy opinions. So I'm super excited for this. I love the cover and I've heard good things about this whole series. So I'm curious to see what I think. And then the most delusional book on my February TBR is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. So I need to read Kingdom of Ash because I've been doing my Throne of Glass reread since June, I wanna say is when I started and I just have Kingdom of Ash left. So it's taken me quite a while to get through my reread, but I really, really enjoyed it. This is my favorite series of all time and I love Love this finale to death. This book is just perfection to me. And after finishing House of Flame and Shadow, I was like, I just need more Sarah. Like I just need more from her. So I really want to pick this book up and get my feelings hurt all over again. besties. So it is birthday book haul time. I also have like other stuff besides books to show you all because some of my friends also sent me some bonus things on top of books, which is so amazing. I am a very, very lucky gal. So I'm just going to go through all the things I got for my birthday from my friends. And then I will go through the books that I bought for myself on the week of my birthday. Okay. So number one, Lachlan. Lachlan got me like a Taylor Swift themed set of gifts and I am gagged. Number one, stunning print of our Lord and Savior. This is during the long live performance, which is like, uh, 
one of her best songs ever and we always cry about that song. So this is very exciting. I need to put this up somewhere. There's multiple things that I got from my friends that I will be putting up in my book room somewhere. She also got me Taylor Swift stickers. I am obsessed. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love this. She got me a Taylor Swift magazine. Hello, this is going on the bookshelf, obviously. It's really beautiful and like super glossy. This is everything to me. She got me more prints here and they're all like purple themed, which is just so, so cute and goes with something else that I got. So I'm just loving the purple Taylor vibes. Okay, and then you guys are not ready. Look at what she got me. I, I don't even think I can show the entire thing in the frame. I, yeah, let's see, <laughs> let's see if I can back this up. Okay, I'm gonna try to fit this gift from Lachlan entirely in frame. I don't know if I can because it's larger than life. So we have a giant Taylor Swift poster. Oh my God, I'm telling you right now. Okay, hold on. First of all, it's Lover in the beginning. And then we have Fearless, amazing. I'm telling you right now, this will be up in my room in a nursing home when I'm in my 80s. Like this is going with me, okay? This is going with me to the other side. I am obsessed with this. Like, are you kidding me? Also, it's just so cool because the Ares tour was so iconic. I got to go and now I have this poster of Tay Tay. Looking amazing. Thank you, Lachlan. I was shook when I opened this. Like I did not expect this. Obsessed with you and with these gifts. All right, and the next up we have my gifts from Cami. So number one, we have a new friend. So excited. She will be going next to Penelope on my bookshelf. I need a name. If there's any name that like calls to you while you're looking at her, let me know. But she is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Frogs are one of my favorite animals as well. And yeah, I just love this so much. Cami also got me a scanner. I am so excited to use this. This is a way to like organize my library. I am so ready to just scan all of these books and get my life together. Like I cannot wait to get everything organized and categorized with this. This is so, so cool. Like I didn't even know that this was a thing and she sent it to me, which is amazing. All right, and then she got me this amazing poster, which really goes with what Lachlan sent me as well. It says, long live all the magic we made. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. So this is a quote from Long Live and it is a bookish themed, fantasy themed poster. And this is like everything to me. Like this is, this is me. This, everything about this is me. The purple, the fantasy, the books, the dragons, the quote, I am this, this is me. So this is perfect. This is definitely getting framed and going up in my book room somewhere. I love this so much. And then Cammie did get me a copy of Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I owned The Way of Kings and then Oathbringer, but I didn't have the second book. So I put it on my wish list and thankfully Cammie got it for me. So I'm super excited to get to this book at some point. All right, and then from Sahar. So Sahar got me two pairs of socks, which I've already worn and they are in the wash right now. And then she also got me skincare stuff, which is up in my bathroom. So thank you so much much for those things, Sahar. But she also got me The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. I'm so excited for this because Sahar loves this book so much. I think it's a five star for her. And I believe she said that this series as a whole is like on its way to being either her all-time favorite or one of her favorite series ever. I can't wait to read this. I know nothing about it, but it's got a dragon on it. And my best friend said it was great. So obviously I'm gonna pick it up. Next up, we have Bestie Hannah. So Hannah, oh, Hannah did also get me skincare as well, which I did put up in my bathroom. Thank you, Hannah. The annotation queen herself got me more mild liner highlighters for annotating, which I'm very, very excited to use. They're really beautiful pastel colors and then some more neutral colors here. Very excited about these. She got me two pens, which are frog themed. Obviously we love frogs on this channel. I actually had a pet frog when I was younger and that's like how this all started because I told this tragic story about how he died, RIP sticky. But ever since then, frogs have just been like a big thing in our friend group. So yeah, she got me these stunning pens, so excited. She also got me this rock, which is shaped like a heart and it's also like kind of pink and I'm obsessed. This is also gonna go on my bookshelf. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me do like the beauty influencer thing. Can you guys see? It's really, really beautiful. I love this so much. And then Hannah got me two books as well. One being Beneath Black Sails by Claire Sager. Very, very excited to pick this one up. Fantasy Romance, of course. And then she also got me North Queen by Nicola Teich, Teichy, Teich. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. I apologize. Another fantasy romance that I'm very much looking forward to. All right, and then my friend Ami got me two books off my wish list. Thank you so much, Ami. Oh my God. She got me Destroyer by Meg Smitherin. Look at this little tiny guy. Like how cute is he? <laughs> I saw this and I love it so much. It's like a little pocket book. So I'm really excited to read this fantasy romance. Saw it recommended a lot. So I'm excited for this one. And then she also got me The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, which I've already started and I'm really enjoying myself so far. So thank you, Ami. And then my friend Nadia got me a copy of Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I've never read a Naomi Novik book before, but I know she has quite a few and this one in particular really intrigued me. I'm gonna be honest, the cover is definitely what intrigued me. Like, look, it's so beautiful. I 
want to know what this story is about. It's very intriguing. So thank you so much, Nadia. And then my lovely friend Tyler got me two books and he got me Blood Union Part 1 and 2 by Bella Roth. So these are the fifth and sixth book in the Blood Grace series, I believe. And I really need to catch up on that series. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to say this right now. Blood Solace, which is the second book. I'm putting that on my March TBR. Like it has to happen because I read Blood Mercy last year and that is a book that I really, really loved, but it has so much information that if I wait too long to pick up the second book, I'm not going to remember anything. So I am putting that on my March TBR because especially getting these, I'm like, I want to get to these books. This is such a rich fantasy romance series and these books are absolutely stunning and I really, really want to read them. So thank you so much, Tyler. All right. So now we're going to get into the books that were purchased by yours truly for yours truly. Okay. So number one, House of Flame and Shadow, which like, did I buy this for my birthday? No, but this book came out the week of my birthday and I purchased it. So it's getting added to the haul. Any chance I can get to talk about this book, I will. So this is my Target exclusive edition. This is the copy that I read. This is the copy that I picked up first thing on release day. And I just love this cover. Like they knocked it out of the park with this one. It's so gorgeous. And then I also did pre-order a copy of the Walmart exclusive because it does have a different bonus chapter that I was very keen on reading. So I wanted to get another copy. So I have this Walmart one as well. And then I got when the moon hatched by sarah a parker this is just one of the most beautiful books it has this very beautiful kind of celestial almost theme on the cover in a dragon which I am just obsessed with. I'm really, really excited to read this and I just think it's so beautiful. And then I purchased The Inadequate Air and The Endless War by Danielle L. Jensen because I have turned a new leaf with the Bridge Kingdom series. I ended up picking up The Traitor Queen and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I definitely wanna continue on with the series. And I love these covers specifically. I believe that she has like two versions of the series like cover wise, but these are done by Danielle Wesson who is one of my absolute favorite artists on Instagram for bookish fan art. I think she's so, so talented. This is the same artist who does the A Touch of Magic Designs dust jackets. I have the Throne of Glass ones and also the Akatar ones. I think she's so talented and this is like how I picture book characters. So I had to get these because they're gorgeous. All right. And then I did get That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. Stunning cover. Once again, I love the fan art style drawings of our characters. I think this is so beautiful and so detailed. This book is also a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So I'm excited to get to this in February. And then I also picked up The Prince of Snow by L.B. Divine. Very pretty cover as well. Just a book that I saw some fan row girlies talking about on Instagram. So I was like, add to cart. I'm curious about this and I like a wintry themed fan row, especially for this time of year, even though right now it's February and very sunny out, but I wanted to pick this up because I thought it sounded good. All right, besties. So I think that's going to be it for this reset vlog. We have talked about anticipated releases. We have made my February TBR, which I will hopefully be able to accomplish. And then we did do a little bit of a birthday book haul. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Just short, sweet, to the point. And if you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and leave any purple emoji. Please make sure that you're following me on Instagram and Goodreads. They are always linked down below. I really appreciate that you watched this video. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I love you all so, so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one.